Okay, good evening, uh, fellows, uh, fellow Ambazonians. So this is going to be uh, a very short broadcast, very, very, very short. So I would like you to uh, get as many people as possible uh, on your screen uh, watching with us. This is going to be a very, very brief presentation. Uh, I didn't plan uh, doing this today, but uh, you know, when things happen, when events happen, we would have to come forward and uh, put them out there uh, to you. Uh, this is very important. It is about our leaders in SET, Sisiko, and the rest. This is uh, a breaking uh, story that came to us just about two hours ago. And we thought it necessary to bring you the story, uh, bring it to your attention. We are responsible to you. So please, we will get a few people gathered up because I know people would always uh, watch this broadcast or presentation uh, after because it is recorded. So I won't spend a lot of time waiting for people to, to show up. Once we gather a few people, I will go, uh, I will do the presentation. And uh, I will also give for A, B, C technicians to uh, prepare the presentation for ground zero. So uh, thanks for tuning in and thanks for joining and hit the share button. Hit the share button, let's gather a few people so I bring you the presentation. Again, this is uh, an urgent alert. You can see the headline, breaking development on plot to kill Sisiko and others. This is a very serious threat. I won't be coming to you if it were not uh, this serious. So please hit the share button. Hit the share button and let others join us. Many people are not aware that I was coming uh, live today, and I didn't know I was coming live today until about two hours ago. And I had to make consultations to uh, bring you this information. So please, as you join, go ahead, hit that share button. Let's grow the numbers quickly and let me uh, bring you this uh, breaking development. In the meantime, I want to thank all of you for joining. I see Victor Mba. Uh, my buddy here in Texas, Alex Evis, I see you. Martin Ashu, I also see you. Kelly, Kelly, or Kev, Kev, I don't know what uh, the pronunciation is. I see you. Julius Ambe, welcome, Mr. Chris. Thank you, sir. You are kind. Uh, I see also uh, Armstrong, Demalia, I see you. Hit the share button, please. I am waiting for ABC technicians to get ready so that uh, they can get this uh, broadcast on ground zero simultaneously as I do the presentation to you. I see Eustace Atten. I say good evening, bro. Thank you, Eustace. I see Tango Fonawazi Fokwa. Thank you for joining, sir. I also see uh, James Harrison. Thank you for joining. John Mack, thank you, sir. Barfoot Stanley, is it Barfoot Stanley? I guess so. Uh, thank you for joining again. This is an urgent broadcast, an urgent alert. I wasn't planning on coming to you today until two hours ago when we, get, when we got this development. I thought to bring it to you, did a few consultations, and we plan to bring you uh, this uh, story so that it doesn't require any action on your side, but it is good that we know uh, what is going on out there, especially uh, in connection to our leaders who are uh, in French Cameroon, talking about His Excellency President Julius Ayuktabe, Tassan Wilfred Shufai Beriu, Barista Eyembe, and uh, for Ngala and for all of them, the 10 of them in detention in Yaoundé. This presentation is about them. So please, again, do me a favor, hit the share button. This is 
going to be just about 15 minutes maximum. 15 minutes, it is not long. It is going to be over really, really soon. I will not wait to get a thousand people to bring you the presentation because people can always watch this uh, after the recording. So please, but we need a few people while we are doing that. A, ABC is uh, uh, trying to do the connection for uh, ground zero so that they can watch it simultaneously as I do the presentation here. So as they do that, so please hit your share button and let me know the friends who are joining. Uh, I have a lot of issues with my eyes, so if I can read your name well, bear with me. I see Jarvis Hamza, uh, Ashu Tambe, I think I mentioned, right? Eric Chick. I see you, sir. Eric Chick. Wow. Good to see you, brother. All the way from South Africa. I see also uh, Jude Nkwine, Eric Yengo uh, in Saltwater. Uh, Ransoma Natum, Carolina Fro, you are always there. Also see NG Omega, see James Harrison, I mentioned that. Also see Akotek Remy, and I see Sylvia, Sylvia Mas, sorry, I can't pronounce that. Yes, please go ahead, hit that share button. Many people do not know I was supposed, I am uh, I am alive, I am live right now because this wasn't planned. So please go ahead and hit your share button. Why I'm waiting for you to do that, I'm also waiting for ABC technicians to get this broadcast simultaneously on ground zero. So please go ahead and hit your share button while we wait for ABC technicians to get this broadcast on ground zero. See, Emmanuel Anyi, say, watching from Dubai. Thank you. I see also uh, Amen Give says, great. Says, silence Mavic. I say, Endo, I think it's Primus, AJ Taku, always there. Thank you, sir. Mohamedou Mohammed says, I'm watching from Dubai. See, Prince Rene. I see also Jut Eba. He's always there too. Thank you guys for joining. I uh, see Atanga for me. is also watching. Basi indeed also. I see you. And the one and only Mark Barretta also. I see you. Martin Ebene. Thank you, sir, for joining. Uh, Beglun Lawson. I thank you. Uh, Rache Wanyi. I see you. Simon Areago. All right, uh, let me see if uh, ABC is ready. Please keep on hitting uh, that share button again. This is going to be a short, very, very short presentation. The presentation proper is not going to last for five minutes. I can assure you that. Uh, again, this is not something that was planned, but when there is breaking news, that must go out, I have to come to you, no matter how short or how brief uh, that may be. So please go ahead and share and hit that share button. Let me check to see if ABC is ready. And go ahead, share, 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 please. Okay, it's asking for five minutes. To, uh, ABC is asking for five minutes to get ready. So please, why ABC is getting ready to get this simultaneously on ground zero, I ask you, please, do me a favor. Let's get many more people watching before ABC is ready to get this on ground zero simultaneously. Wisdom Dor Dorothy, thank you for joining. Ingi Tanto, DD. And Silence Maverick, I see you, Shaila. Uh, wow, your last name is so hard, I can't pronounce it. I see Eric Yengo, I've mentioned your name. Emmanuel Aini, John Paul Yu, I see you. Awunja uh, Eric Nkengason, I see you. I say hi, sir, courage. Thank you, thank you. I also see uh, Aga Austin. Chris, watching from Germany. I hope I, I hope you, I hope I saw you there when I was there in Germany. 
And I see Raymond Ayare watching from South Africa. I also see Sularu Pro. See, I'm watching from where I can't see where you're talking. I can't get what you're talking about, sir. Uh, I also see Wine B. Bello. Say, watching from below. Okay. Uh, so please, uh, I'm waiting for ABC again to get ready for ground zero before I can bring you the presentation. And this is going to be brief. It's going to be short. Hit, keep on hitting that share button while I wait for ABC to give me the signal to do the presentation. In the meantime, let me see my friends who are joining. APA Brian, thank you. Watching from, the, from Vienna, Austria. Thank you, sir. I also see uh, Edith Atemkin. Uh, I see Amber Sirius. Brown D. Eric is always here. Uh, from Eric, I also see you watching from Ground Zero. I also see Fosong Wilmer. Hi, Secretary Chris, watching from Cape Town, he says. Thank you. As you join, go ahead, hit that share button. This presentation is not going to last five minutes. So please do the sharing. Prince, Oz I can't get that. Uh, I see in so for Chan Kim, he's also watching. I see uh, Paul Euros watching. Uh, Winifred Nenkai watching. Agnes Mokom, I see you. Mokyo Vivian, thank you, ma'am, for joining. I also see uh, uh, Roland Bado, IG for Live. You are correct, sir. Edith Atemkin, I mentioned that before. A.E. Abi, watching from Brussels. Thank you. Let me check one more time uh, to see if uh, ABC is ready uh, for the broadcast. If they are ready, then I will come ahead and do the presentation. Uh, all right. Again, I'm waiting for ABC to uh, to get ready to take me uh, live on ground zero. So please bear with me. He says, not yet. So uh, keep on hitting the share button. And why I'm waiting for ABC Studios to get ready to take this broadcast simultaneously uh, on ground zero, uh, I just want to remind, remind you of the commemoration of uh, our Independence Day, which is coming up this weekend all over the world. When I mean all over the world, I mean wherever that you are based, wherever you find yourself. Those in London know where they are gathering. Those in Germany are meeting or gathering in Berlin. I was there and Dr. Elad uh, was trying to promote this with all ferocity that uh, he could. So those in Berlin meeting in, those in Germany meeting in Berlin, Belgium, I don't know where they are meeting. Uh, but of course, they'll be meeting somewhere. The USA all routes lead to Washington, D.C. They're going to be a wonderful man to expose our culture to the uh, American public. Because it is good that people know when we say we are Amazonians, people should know who we are by our culture, by, who we, by, by our culture and what we do. So please... If you live in the continental USA, all routes will lead to Washington, D.C. this weekend. There shall be lots of cultural presentations at the occasion. Then some other locations, there will be rallies and also cultural presentations. So please look out for where you're in your community. This event is taking place and uh, join them. Let's raise our flags all over the world. Remember, this is our own national day. We no longer celebrate 11 February. We no longer celebrate 20th May. October 1st is our Independence Day. That was the day 
and by Zonia, the Southern Cameroons got independence from the United Nations by virtue of Article 1608 of the United Nations. Again, I'm still waiting for uh, a, B, C to get ready for ground zero before I bring your days. It's taking a little, a little longer than I expected, but I have no choice but to wait for, for a signal from, uh, from the studios uh, to do the broadcast. So please go ahead and keep on hitting the share button. Let people know I'm a, uh, I am about to uh, bring you a breaking story. As you can see the headline there, breaking development on plot to kill Sisiko and others. This is very serious. Uh, if it were not serious, I would not be out here to talk about it. That's the only thing I came out here to talk about it. And this is the information we have received in the past two hours. And I bring you that information for your notice. Okay. Uh, I will go live. I will, I mean, I will do the presentation right now. Uh, in the meantime, continue to hit the share button this is going to be again a very very short broadcast in the next five minutes uh this should be over so please go ahead and keep on hitting that share button this will be over in the next five minutes uh I want to welcome everybody on Ground Zero. I bring you a very important piece of information that we have received in the, in the last two hours here at the interim government. There is information that you receive and keep, and there is some that you receive and send out immediately. This is one of those. Fellow Amazonians, good evening. A few hours ago today, Thursday, September the 27th, the interim government received impeccable intelligence about a security meeting held by French Cameroon officials in which they plan to have our president, Sisiko Julius Ayoktabe, and the nine other leaders held with him assassinated in a matter of days from now. Rest assured that Sisiko and the nine others have been informed of the assassination plot. And we are learning that there is now a very tense atmosphere of uncertainty in the set military facility in Yaoundé, where they have been held for the past seven months and counting. I cannot disclose any more details of the plan here. But what I can disclose to you now is that the plan to assassinate Sisiko and others was discussed during a security meeting held recently by French Cameroon top military and political officials. The meeting was attended, among others, by Prime Minister Philip Munyan. Peter Mafani Musonge, Paul Atanganji, and Elvis Ngole Ngole. We have been made to understand that at the meeting, it was agreed that our president, Sisiku, and others be executed or killed before the elections, precisely on or before the 5th of October. We have no idea what the motive behind this plan assassination is all about, but we have been warned to treat this information with utmost seriousness. It is very serious. It is a very serious development and of very serious concern. Again, President Sisiko and the nine orders leaders with him in that facility have been informed about the plan by us, they are aware of anything that may happen. The interim government is meeting to take some immediate action on this development. And I will to you a day or two later with much more details. There is nothing else that I can add to this announcement right now. Rather, rather than keep you informed, 
and to ask that we all make prayers for our leaders, that whosoever plots their death will die before them, and that any weapon directed against them will be reversed, sent back to the sender. Thank you, and good night. Again, that is all that I wanted to pass along to you today. I want to emphasize that Sisiko and the rest are aware of this information. The interim government has communicated this information to them in their detention centers, and they are very much aware of the plot. We will come to you further maybe tomorrow or the next day to, with any developments that we may have to uh, brief you. The motive we have behind this, we are yet to find out. Okay, thanks for tuning in. God bless.